Hello, this is Real Talk With Me, a podcast that is fully unedited, unfiltered, and genuine conversation. My name is Jamie Levy, and I am the program director of Mindful Meeps. MEEP stands for Mindful Experiences Evolving Purpose. It's also a reset word that you can say at any time. Meep. Meep. Meep, meep, meep. However feels natural to you. So I'm so grateful for the opportunity to use technology as a tool to share this message and speak my truth and connect, especially in the times that we're living in currently. So I wanted to take this moment to invite you to search a little bit deeper within yourself and really think, how are you feeling? And loving yourself, no matter what that answer is. So in times of social distancing and everything that comes with that and the reasons why we're doing it, the energy feels heavy globally. And I feel connected personally to the globe and what's happening. And I genuinely like feel that energy. And yesterday, April 7th, 2020 was the full moon in Libra. And just looking at it, so many feelings came to mind. And what's so beautiful about the full moon in Libra is that it's about balance. So how can we find balance in this time of uncertainty, which is a really big question. So I'm curious, how are you doing in this time? And what are you doing to stay grounded and balanced? It's certainly a day-to-day practice for me and I am challenging myself to honor my body and how I feel and just show up fully in everything that I do. Coming back to the present moment, we call it the present because it's our gift. So I'm so grateful for this present moment. I'm noticing my senses, what I'm hearing when I'm smelling, when I'm touching and feeling, what I'm tasting, what I'm smelling, what I'm seeing. So connecting with your senses is part of the MEEP challenge and why we are starting the conversation of mindful experiences evolving purpose. That second E of experiences is your senses. So notice what shows up for you. What does it feel like? And I invite you to be aware of when you might not be tuned into these senses and how you can challenge yourself to step outside of your comfort zone and feel your feelings. It is certainly divine. So the reason why... I felt prompted to talk about experiences and senses in the core values of MEEP is because when using technology, I personally found myself only engaging one to two senses at a time. I completely forgot that I'm this incredible human being that can feel and have all these senses and be grounded and experience the moment to its best capacity. So I invite you to join us in that. And I'm curious what comes up for you. So now that we're fully present in this moment, I would just like to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for clicking on this audio. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being present in this moment with me. 
I'm so grateful that we're able to have these genuine, heartfelt conversations and that technology is making it a possibility for us to communicate in this capacity. I'm only doing it to maintain my story in my head of feeling included with these times. So lots of layers there. However, I think the main message is to follow your heart, do what makes you feel free, and share it with others. And share it in a way that feels real and loving from you. So for me, that's this podcast. And if you're listening, I appreciate and love you. And I'm so grateful to be sharing this moment. So as we continue to peel back the layers, I invite us to take the digital flourishing challenge together. So keeping everything we just talked about in mind, but also letting it all go. So how can we let go of the story and the meaning and just be present to the possibilities? Digital flourishing. What does that mean to you? To me, I interpret it as using technology to flourish. Like, how can I flourish with my digital tools? So this podcast is the perfect example and probably one of my favorites. And there's a whole conversation around digital flourishing that we are having with the Digital Wellness Collective. And I invite you to take your digital flourishing survey so you can check up on how you're doing in the six areas of the digital flourishing conversation. So this week we're focusing on physical health, which has been such a wake up call because I've been so excited about technology and sharing and speaking and staying engaged and involved in the conversation that I was blatantly ignoring things like eye health that I was surprised to see on the physical health tip guide from the digital flourishing wheel. And I was like, oh man, I can't even feel my eyes right now. Like I've been staring at this screen for over 12 hours. They're, my contacts are mad, you know, like just all of the above of that personal awareness check-in. So it's just really important that we show up for ourselves and take care of ourselves and everything that that encompasses. So this week is physical health and the question that was on daily aloha to fill in the blank is I feel my best physically when I blank. When you fill in that blank, what are you filling it with? Share your answer with hashtag digital flourishing challenge and we will continue the conversation together. And it's really cool that we're able to be physically apart but digitally together and building this community of flourishing with technology. So it's a really special time that we're in and I'm so excited to be having this conversation together as a community and flourishing together and learning from each other. How can we continue to digitally flourish? How can we support each other as a community in this capacity and foster physical health from our technology and one example of it is all these virtual fitness programs there's so many and it's so wonderful and that's a great example of you know digital tools to prioritize 
your physical health. However, my biggest personal challenge is getting off the computer and doing them. So I'm very curious, what gets you working out? How do you move your body and create that momentum to create a ritual with it and a routine and just making it so wonderful? So these are all really big questions that we've thrown out so far. And I'm so excited to continue the conversation. So I'd love to chat online in a mindful way. So something that we're trying to do when we use the Meep social media accounts is to be fully present to our purpose and open the technology with intention. So for example, when I recorded this podcast, at the early hours in the a.m. I opened my computer and I opened Audacity and I hit record. And that's really powerful. I did not get distracted by my email. So I was able to wake up and be fully present to this conversation and hold space for this evolving conversation. And it's so special. And I'm totally okay with anything that happened and I let go of my meaning and my story and I'm here I'm present to the possibilities and I'm discovering new opportunities every day and a quote that's been really grounding during these turbulent times is obstacles are detours in the right direction So I've been sitting with this obstacle and choosing to see it as a detour in the right direction. And being aware of that outcome is really nice. Like it's nice to have that positive outlook. But at the same time, it's like, how could this be the right way when it feels so sad right now? And my answer to that is trust, is trusting that it's all going to be okay. Everything happens for a reason. And we're going to learn so much and we're learning so much. So, here we are. Thank you for sharing this moment with me and your inner me. I would love to challenge you to give yourself a hug. And when you're hugging yourself, maybe close your eyes and smile and remind yourself how loved you are you are free you are love you are light thank you thank you thank you meep